Hello, everybody, and welcome to, I suppose, another Let's Play, um, Ghostbusters The Game. I got this game on Steam many many years ago now. Well, it, it was the 2010 Halloween sale, and it was 249 at the time. And you can't actually buy this game anymore. I'm going to make sure my controller systems are up to par here. Uh, anyway, yeah, you can't buy it on Steam anymore. Uh, don't forget Atari filed for bankruptcy a couple months ago. So, they can't get any more codes from Atari. And um, the controls here are a little bit funky because um, it's better to use a controller than it is to use the keyboard and mouse because with the mouse controls, if you move left in one direction for too long, it'll speed up, kind of like analog does, uh, and you can't disable that. So, it's, it's, it's um, the port to PC was kind of a quick port, so there's a, lot, there's a few things missing. For instance, the multiplayer aspects, which I don't actually care about, has been removed. Um, and the controls weren't totally optimized. Other than that, it's a pretty good port. And but uh, un, but just like the console version, you can only have one save file at a time. And I was doing a little bit of experimenting with this game um, for the last couple hours, not today, couple hours, but over the last week, few hours, to try and get the best way to record it. And this is my fifth attempt to try and record this with proper audio. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of work. So. Um, I'm not sure how many episodes this will be. The game is relatively short, and the game is worth playing through a first time. But since you can only have one save file, I'll just start a new career here. And um, it doesn't matter what my resume career was. It was the first mission. I was doing the, the first tutorial over and over again with different recording methods. So um, I, the, I have a, an okay method, I think, now. But it's in a two-part, it's technical, it's confusing, so anyway, forget it. Let's go into casual, experienced, or professional. I think we'll do experienced. I did have the gold proton pack for the 360. I bought the game at Walmart when it was new, and they came with a code for the gold proton pack. It won't translate over to the computer, so I won't have it, sadly. Hmm. This is an homage to that commercial they had. Oh, look at his monitors from the left to the right. You'll see a ghost moving around. <laughs> and then on the right monitor. I do like the cutscenes. They get you in the movie atmosphere. They, they borrow a lot from the uh, original movie for the build-up. And... The game took a lot of cues from the first script, more so than the second script, I think. But it's cool. Um, they got original voice actors back, except for Rick Moranis. They couldn't get him involved because he had retired from acting, and he didn't. They didn't get him for any voice acting. And um, so he wasn't available for the game. But everybody else was. I never understood that part of the cutscene. No, I know it now because I know the story, but. This build-up is exactly the same as the librarian scene in the first movie. Of course, you know, the song is back, gotta love it. And an gen entire generation missed Ghostbusters. So, the fact th that they brought this game, and they were so, um, what's it called? They were so faithful to the source material, is a relief, because we had a lot of shitty Ghostbusters games. And Ernie Hudson's my, my second favorite Ghostbusters. Egon was always my favorite. I can never remember his actor's name, so forgive me on that one. <laughs> um, and yes, that's her voice actor. That card is from the first movie. A couple of wavy lines. This isn't your lucky day. <laughs> and of course, there's Slimer. Uh, I love the I love the script. I really do. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but since there's so much nostalgia involved in Ghostbusters for me, I really can forgive this game a lot of problems, even though I can point them out to you. Uh, for instance, like the controls and the, the, the somewhat lazy control port to the PC, and um, the AI is actually kind of smart. Hey, it's the new cadet. Although Welcome it's aboard. a little bit... Um, a little anyway... Um, that warning label um, on the back of the proton pack. Uh, 
What's your name again? It, it's on every proton pack, no, no, no. but I can never read it. And I don't like the fact that you're a mute protagonist, but yeah, I guess that it's okay. I would have preferred it if they had you be a Ghostbuster. You know. Like, for right here, they could have had you control Ray. And Egon says to Ray, here's prototype Proton Pack, let me give you the basic rundown. See? That would have been fine. So you could actually write out the newbie. Since he's mute and has no personality. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. Is a level 7 uh, whatever. If you paid attention to this cutscene, you would have seen a computer with a readout. <laughs> At the near the beginning. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. Why would Slimer. Anyway, I'm getting used to the controls here. Slimer's escaped again! I think my controls are spammed. Hold on, hold on. I, I need to change something. I know I do. I, I, I tried to do this at the beginning, but it didn't quite... I think I, I missed something. My my analog is, isn't... Hold on. Okay, I'm back. My my analog and my, cro and my uh, crosshair were reversed, so okay, I had to fix that. All right, I'm good. I'm good now. Um, since Atari made this game... <laughs> There's a, there's a couple games over there, Qbert and stuff. Why is there a bagel on the rack, or is that a donut? I don't know. That's that, that's the coffee cup rack, and there's a bagel. Oh, look at that! Look at that right there. Con congra congratulation, you have completed a great game and proved the justice of our culture. Now go and rest our heroes. It's right there. That's awesome. You couldn't actually read that in the uh, 360 version. It was it was too low res. And I just love all the extras around here. Apparently that was Egon's, you know, research board. Oh, you're too busy, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm too too busy. No, no, no. Let's go and do the tutorial. We can explore the um, the, the 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 firehouse a little later. All right. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. Um, you cannot avoid blowing up the containment unit here. It's scripted. Even if you really try hard. Like right here. Like you're not even aiming at it and you just hit Slimer. <laughs> That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Oops, you let one out? That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the engine's facial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. Alright. He went into the sub-basement, and his escapee friend went with him. Hmm. Come on, kid. We got a job for you. Uh, okay, I won't. Slimer's harmless. I won't More harp less. too much on it. Not sure like about the other guy, though. I already mentioned okay. it. They could have written out the new cadet and just had you be one of the Ghostbusters in each one of these scenes. I can All come right, up now, with. Don't sweat the containment unit. It's easy to get excited the first time out with the proton screen. He got no time. <laughs> I could easily um, come up with ways that each of these scenes could just be one Ghostbuster without the newbie. Okay, enough said on that. First and foremost, before things get out of hand. You want to get to know your proton pack. This is just a tutorial, so you're not really missing anything, and I put the subtitles on so you can read. Um, Slimer's busy in the background just going through crates and eating and drinking shit. And the, they did the heads-up display actually pretty well here. I like it, because whenever you get something new, the proton pack just has another light on it. So, that's done. Uh, that's done. That's, um, good. Good, I already said that. <laughs> Damn it! I can't talk while the cutscene's going on, because I'm trying to pay attention to it as well. Anyway, there's an achievement in this game that says do not do more than ten thousand dollars worth of property damage with your beam, and it is impossible to get. I will try to, to I will attempt to do it, but if you see me hesitate on where to shoot, it's because I'm trying not to cause property damage. Ugh. There we go. Um. Your partner's killing, killing uh, background stuff doesn't count against your damage, just you. So him blowing that crap up doesn't matter. But you doing damage to the walls, to the environment, 
Except, with the exception of, like, the roof in this area, or the floor, uh, walls and crates will, it'll show damage on the top. So, I, I got as far as, as far as Stay Puffed, who makes appearance here, that's kind of a small spoiler, but there's a reason why he comes back, he's not just thrown in for a familiar face. Um, they explain why he comes back. But I got to that scene, I was at like 8,000 property damage, and at that point I was realizing it's probably impossible to do this. Because I was continuously replaying scenes over and over again. And I'll try, for your entertainment, but I'm going to do damage, I know I am. Like, I haven't done any yet, but it just one slip. And I am using the controller here, not the mouse, for, for the reasons I explained before. So I, I, it is a little bit, um, a little bit uh, harder to control. Don't worry about this, it's scripted that he runs away. <laughs> Alright, ouch. You, you do recover damage automatically. Okay, self-healing uh, life bar, if you will. Okay. Um, if you know how to throw a capture stream before he tells you, you can do it. and You can actually move stuff around with it, but it's very difficult to master. So I just prefer to let the game... Um, He'll explain what the capture thing is. Oh, fuck. I think I just... No. Yeah, I just did. I damaged it. Like, 90 bucks. <laughs> uh, um, that control is L2. Hold L2 while you hold L1. It's a little bit... See, to me... Look, 57 more damage. It's 271 damage. God, there's no way I can do that 10,000. I mean, I've already done over 300 damage. And this is the tutorial mission, and this counts. Alright, I got him. And look, I slammed him and I just got more damage. So, it's, it's, it's not impossible. I know, I've, I've, I'm just harping on it over and over again. He explains how to slam, but I already know how. So, there you go. Beat the shit out of him. You shoot his, you shoot his long life meter down, you get a capture stream on him, you slap him around, and then you throw out a trap. <laughs> there we go. Uh, button 4 is my top button if you look at the buttons as a crosshair. That's button 4. Oh, I lost my... Hold on a second. There we go. There we go. Got him. Got him. It's it's kind of hard to keep him in, and some of the ghosts really do put up a fight to get in there. And button four also retains the trap. Right. Look, at, look at the floor; it's completely ruined. Uh, okay, you can go. You can go in here, but nothing. There's nothing here. Um. What they didn't fix from the 360 version to this version, I'll explain in a second. This cutscene is almost over. And look over there on the right, I'll show that in a minute. <laughs> Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. He's never satisfied. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. Anyway, um, it says go into Ecto when, when you're ready, but I won't do it yet, so I can explain to you. Just run around and show you everything here. Um, they have... Over here is... Um, let's go up here. Actually, I don't know where to start. There's so much shit. Uh, let's... Let's start with up here. Okay. Um, now I want to go. God damn it! I'm so indecisive. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go. Let's start over here uh, with the Vigo picture. This guy has probably 50 things to say. Oh, I've I could sit here all day and just talk to him, just so you can get every line of dialogue. I won't do all of them, okay? Because for your sanity and mine. But I'll I'll throw out a few of them. I suppose every once in a while, if you talk to him between missions, you'd get all his text eventually. He can repeat... <laughs> he can repeat his text lines, though, so after, like, 20 lines, you might get the same line, then might get a new one. It just... It would be a lot of repetition to get all of them, so forget I'm not going to get them all. Uh, here in uh, Venkman's office, you can actually see clips from the movie and from that montage in the first movie where they showed all the pictures. 
They they put them here on newspaper clippings. I thought that was a nice touch. I believe if you blew them up, you could read them, but it's it, you can't zoom into the wall yet. And you can do it with the head thing that they give you later, but you don't ever wear it in the in the firehouse, so it doesn't matter. So they just chill out here and watch TV, I guess. Um, her lines of dialogue are pretty bland most of the time, so she doesn't really say much. Uh, that computer she's using, I think that's an Atari ST. Considering Atari made this game, I wouldn't be surprised considering the year is 1991. Now let's go upstairs and check out a few things here. Uh, it'll take like maybe five, ten, five or six minutes, and then we'll be done. And there's again, that's, that's probably Egon's board. And uh, let's see what else can we poke around in here for. There it is. You have completed a great game. I just wish I could zoom in, but you probably can read it if you just pause and check it out. Um, let's see. Let's look around. There's uh, the kitchen. There's the table. Uh, the pool table will have the dancing toaster on it later. For some reason, it doesn't have it on right now. But hey, it's all right. When, when it shows up, oh, the answering machine, right? You have seven. Now I'll listen to these for you. Um, but if you don't listen to them, they they keep building up. So I don't know if there's a reason why you care if they build up, because this is just flavor text. I think this is optional in the game, and I don't think there's an achievement from listening to all of these. But it kind of makes you want to do it, because then you start feeling guilty. I, one time I didn't do it for two missions, and I had 21 messages. Oh, it took forever to get through them. Yeah, we'll sell ghosts. We sell them to you. You let them out. We capture them again. We win twice, brother. This is an America. This is America. It's being American. <laughs> Hi, Janine. This is Mark. Well, you Mark? The other night at the I Have a Crush on My Boss, but I'm Afraid to Tell Them seminar. <laughs> I was wondering oh. if you'd be interested in a job. She has a crush on I Egon. Anyway. Anything else? Oh, yeah, there's like four more messages. Four new it? messages. Hi, this is Ed. I know you're looking to hire. Um, we don't want a redneck, sorry. <laughs> I love the ribbon cable on the back of this proton pack. It looks cool. I get The whole idea behind the proton packs was they cobbled them together, so there's a lot of shit all over the place, you know. The Teamsters Union? <laughs> That might be worth looking into. <laughs> There's a purple thing on the back of the proton pack at the bottom right there. Um, yeah, uh, right about there, but I can't read it if it has anything to say, and I really wish I could zoom in to read that warning label. It just bothers me that I can't. Alright. Peter, Peter, pick up. I know you're there. Hmm. This is Mitzi. From the airport last week. In the airport. Laundromat. Laundromat. And the roof of the bank. Wow, he gets around. Wait a minute, I thought you had a thing for Dana at the end of the second movie, which this game takes place right after. Dana, Sigourney Weaver. I mean, you guys had a thing. And you're cheating on her. You asshole. <laughs> Hello? Is this Ghostbusters? Ugh. Is your containment unit running? Really? A prank call? Well, whatever. Alright, I'm done. I'm out of here. You little bastard. I'm gonna reach the phone and strangle you. Alright, what else can we look at? Are there any more goodies? Well, you can't fuck with the pool table, sadly, but, um... Okay, uh... Oh, it's, um... According to the time on that cutscene, it was about 5 minutes to 12. So that kind of means it's middle... It's midday. So you can just actually get a good view of, of the street of New York right there. That's just kind of fun that they add that detail. They could have just put nothing there, a brick wall. But, you know, they added the street. So. That was kind of nice. And I like how they have a couple arcade games here by Atari, you know, Qbert. Um, you can interact with both the cabinets, but not the pinball. Let's see if I can grab this one here. Yeah. 
but you can't play the pinball game. And I can never read the title of that pinball. You know, something Ness, sh Sharg Ness, Suave Ness. Anyway, if you guys can read it, um, or, or if that actually is a pinball machine, I just can't, um, I just can't read it. And it bugs me. But you can hear its music playing. That's always cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Yes, you can slide down the poles, and there's two of them. Hey, look, it's the, uh, it's the bedroom where they, the bunk room, and where, um, Ray got a blowjob by a ghost. <laughs> oh, gotta love that part of the movie. That, that scene was actually slightly extended, and they downplayed it. Because they wanted, they didn't really care, they didn't really think that that was necessary. But anyway, <laughs> let's just check out the pole. Whee! The laundry machine was up there. I think, pretty much done. Oh, but, um, I think there's one more thing to check out. Uh, Tully's desk. Since they couldn't get him in the game, they had to write him out somehow, so, you know, right here, feeling sick, left early. And look, even his, um, suit in the background says Tully on it, so they gave him a suit. That's kind of a standing Ghostbuster. And look, um, there's Winston's locker, Zedmore. Um, Zedmore is his last name, and it was never actually said in the movie. It was just posted on his uniform, and you could see it maybe twice in the whole movie. So... If there was any, and if there was any um, confusion of what his last name was, Winston Zedmore. <laughs> so, um, you know, you actually you can't stop the game here. There's no way to manually save. It only auto saves. And look, look, Slimer 850 hot dogs. <laughs> and since you can't manually save, it only saves after the, the, uh, the last auto save, and that happens after these cutscenes here for the next chapter. The Cedric Hotel. Ugh. It's the first place that little spud will go. Right. Back to its initial manifestation point. They've got a real good buffet. It is a great one. When Winston returns from the opera, extended... <laughs> he waves to Janine. Join us at our table to Cedric. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That's our job. Trouble is, like I said, um... You have... You have, you can't save and you can't leave the game in the precinct because if you do, you have to leave, go back to the last save. You might miss a cutscene as per the 360, or here it'll take you back to the basement, and you have to recapture the ugly dude. Yeah, so you have to go to the Ecto One, get to the next mission's cutscene, and then stop when it starts. Okay, so right about okay, right about here is where we can stop. So I gotta hit escape here. Now I can use the control again and uh, quit to main menu. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it doesn't tell you where to autosave. So the, the saving is not intuitive, which bugs the fuck out of me. So it's not... This game is not without its fault, uh, flaw, f flaws or faults. It's just I can look past them because the story's good and the gameplay's good. And the attention to detail is good. Attention to detail in the game, not attention to the game engine's detail and some... Anyway, okay, I'm just, I'm just splitting hairs. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really want to do more of this. It just takes a while to make process these episodes. So um, I'll, I'll try to get some out if you guys are interested. If not, maybe on my own volition, you know. So I'll see you guys next time.